you know anything about Bella Thorne, you know that she is definitely unique and doesn't give a shit about what people think. The girl loves standing out, being a free spirit, and expressing herself openly, no matter how weird some people may think she is. And let me tell you, her home is no different. Hey guys, it's Kara, and we are gonna try something a little different here on this channel. We are going to be taking a look at all the details on Bella Thorne's house tour. Hopefully Bella watches this video and next time I'll be able to do it with her, like her Crips tour. But for now it's just me, you, and the thousands of others who clicked on this video. And Shiro. He wanted to say hi. Say hi. If you like this idea, I can make more house tour videos like this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below. We also recently hit 50k subs. We are halfway to 100k, so subscribe if you're new. Okay, now let's get into this video. So I believe Bella has two homes now, considering she just bought a new one. But the house of hers that has gained a lot of attention is her trippy twins fun house. Yes, it has a name. Her infamous house even has its own Instagram account. Although I'll talk about her new spot a little later on, her OG home is super interesting, so I definitely felt like it deserved a home tour. When Bella purchased her first house back in 2016, she named the trippy twins fun house. She got it for just over two million. Located in Sherman Oaks, California, it spans 4,500 square feet of property and has five beds and five baths. I'm not surprised that Bella titled her place Trippy Twins Fun House because it definitely is crazy enough to look like a fun house. And once you see the inside, it's trippy to say the least. Her and her sister Danny did most of the designing and art projects. Although the two are four years apart, Bella is 21 years old at the time of this recording, and Danny is 26, they call themselves twins, and they really do look a lot alike. So what will you find when you enter this fun house? Bella did a home tour before on Snapchat, and she showed off a bunch of the rooms and the touches that make her place so unique. The first things that you'll probably notice when stepping foot inside is how colorful it is and also how much artwork there is. Her stairs are literally light up, which I think is pretty cool, and there's also a ton of sparkles and glittery decor by the front door. When you walk up the stairs, there's a mural you can't miss, which is mainly of a girl. Bella describes the image as a mix of her and Danny, and she's also their Filthy Fangs girl, which is the music brand the sisters have. Like I've mentioned before, the art projects and murals are mostly the workings of Bella and Danny themselves, and clearly it's acted as a way for them to express themselves. In the half blue, half green room, there's a seashell chair which Bella and Danny created that has over 200 shells decorated onto it, and there's also their giant unicorn statue. The unicorn is a pretty weird piece, and it's 12 feet tall. Bella says that people have ridden it, thrown up on it, and even had sex on it. Sounds like Bella has hosted some crazy parties, which I'm not the least bit surprised about. There's also a pink room, which is the home of Derek the Dinosaur. Just when you thought a giant unicorn was enough, you also get an eight foot tall dinosaur, who according to Bella was a present to Danny for her 25th birthday. Love it. There's a living room that attaches onto the backyard, where there sits a wild looking couch that was hand painted by none other than Bella. And of course, it's all rainbow. There are some more painted couches and chairs sitting on the patio, where Bella says they do a lot of their chilling, designing, and crafts. Out there, there's an in-ground pool and jacuzzi, also perfect for parties, it looks like, as well as some teepees. It seems like Bella has a thing for teepees because her bedroom has one too, which is actually her bed. Bella has explained why she wanted a teepee for her bed, stating, I wanted a teepee because I thought it was weird. I've always liked the idea of sleeping on the floor. I wanted to have something that felt like a safe space. Obviously, my house is a safe space, but this, when I get in there, I get all cozy up in this bitch. I think my fave part of celebrity houses has got to be seeing their closet. I'm a girl, so do you blame me? Bella's closet is a thousand square feet, aka it's massive, and is home to about 4,000 pieces of clothing, as well as over 600 pairs of shoes. I would love to have a closet this big, but a lot of her wardrobe looks a little too out there, even for me. Bella says that her most personal room is her bathroom. It's decked out in greenery, making it look like a garden, and there are little personalized notes and Polaroids everywhere. So 
I can see why it's a special room to her. She says it's just full of love. This place is also home to Bella's family of animals. I know that Bella has a few dogs now and she also has 17 cats. Well, at the time that she gave her home tour, which was last year, she had 17 cats, but I wouldn't be surprised that number has increased since. Considering the insane amount of cats, there is a cat castle located in the pink room too. How cute. One thing that really makes the Trippy Twins Funhouse different is that it's open to the public, just not for free. Bella actually rents out the place for parties and photo shoots or video shoots, and tours are even available. According to page six, a tour of the Trippy Twins Funhouse is only 50 bucks, but who knows if this has changed recently. Photo shoots cost up to 250 per hour, and a six hour video shoot could run up to $4,000. It also looks like the house has seen its fair share of crazy parties. This house has changed drastically since Bella purchased it back in 2016. Not only did the star get the exterior of the home painted purple, the inside of the place actually used to look classy and super normal. For example, the spot where her rainbow couches now sit used to look like this. And her foyer definitely had no trace of rainbow, light up stairs, murals, or streamers. To say that Bella left her mark on this place is an understatement. She clearly made the Trippy Twins Funhouse her own and definitely a reflection of the eccentric person that she is. So apparently Bella has purchased a new home near Topanga, California, but I'm not sure if she sold her infamous Funhouse. Even if she did sell it, I would think the big purple house might be hard to market to just the average person. I'm not exactly sure what the reason was behind the new home purchase, but maybe the star wanted a change. Bella has had two breakups over the past few months with Maud's son and with Tana Mojo a while before that. Both of them either lived in the house or spent a hell of a lot of time there from the looks of it, so it's not surprising Bella wanted a change of scenery. What we know about Bella's new home is it's quite secluded in the mountains near Topanga, California, which I know is a pretty hippie area, but it's super cool. Her place is between Malibu and Calabasas. This $3.3 million home is 5,853 square feet with five bedrooms, six bathrooms, plus a one bed bath guest house on the property. The mountaintop estate sits on 10 acres of land and of course hosts a super gorgeous swimming pool and spa, accented with Spanish tiles. This place definitely looks classier than the Trippy Twins Funhouse, but let's not forget that her original place looked nothing like the art attack it does today when she bought it. I guess only time will tell if Bella turns this pad into a party spot too. Personally, I would take this new crib over the last one, but only because it's a little bit too loud for me. I probably wouldn't be able to wake up every morning to all that chaos. And plus, if I was gonna have that many pets, I think I would just get a farm. Bella's new spot looks elegant and spacious, and the amount of property gives her more privacy. I definitely would feel like a queen living in a house like this, especially sitting poolside in that backyard. All right guys, that's everything I could find on Bella's home. I look forward to reading what you guys think about these two spots. Which one is your favorite of the two? Let me know some other celebrity house tour video ideas and I'll see you next week with some brand new videos. Bye.